Hey, it's the Cali Grio. I just put out the information that came on NBC News this morning, March the 30th. You can go check it. And California looks like it's in the running for leading um, the uh, repayment of reparations. There is a black family that has had a beachfront property in Malibu returned to them. It's happening. How do you prove who you are and that you qualify? Well, I don't know yet, but I know how you can get started. All right? Is what you do. First of all, you have to recognize we were literally property that they paid property taxes on. All right? So once you know that you're property, then anything that would legally have to do with a property transfer, that's where you go. So you go to your grandparents or the eldermost person and you find out what city, state, county they're in. If you're dealing with Louisiana, a lot of that information was put in the parish. It's a parish. That means the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has birth records, the baptismal certificates, they call them. So many of us were baptized as Catholics and, of course, the census. But you get more of a legal document through baptismal records that you can even get passports and things with. Baptismal records are good records. Okay, then you go to the Hall of Records and you go into the property taxes. Oh yeah, property taxes. They paid for property taxes on their cattle and their chattel. Now, our names are listed. You will find, I found my grandparents, okay? I found my dad. Now, this is how I did it. You have to, I went to find my grandfather's marriage certificates. On the back of his marriage certificates, his parents' names were listed. So that's how you could find your great-great-grandparents. If there is any marriage certificates, so you look for those and flip it over on the back. All right? So property, taxes, marriage certificates, um, of course, the census. The census, right? But they don't give you names. They just give how many people were in the family at a certain time. That's not really helpful. Um, what else did I use? I used the church for the baptismal records. I used the title. I went to the title company in Louisiana. Don't you know I found the 240 acres and I stood on it. I have been on our property. 240 acres of pine trees, timber. Each tree is worth two grand. We had coal. Don't forget about your mineral rights. We had coal, not coal. We had water, gas. Gas was running through there. And timber. And then on my grandmother on the Raphael side, I found that 40 acres was bought before the end of slavery, and I found a paper from the president saying that my grandfather could own property. Yeah, so you had to get special permission before the end of slavery to own property. They didn't want us owning anything. They didn't want us in contracts of marriage where you a black man would have to cover his wife because she is his property. That's a property arrangement too. Don't don't misunderstand it. Marriage. Marriage means that you are property of this man. And he could sue and do some of anything behind his property. Well, no we couldn't because there was a Dred Scott decision in the Supreme Court that said if white people damaged our property, they could not be held accountable. Now, I told you about that 1705 law, the Casual Killing Act, where they could literally do anything to us and during chastisement or correction, if they killed us, oh well. 
acted like it never even happened. So all these things can be found if you read. They never thought we would learn to read. But we've read so much in such a little amount of time. That's what we did in Reconstruction. We came up so fast, they had to put a system together called the Electoral College to put us down. Because we already had a population that outweighed theirs. And if we got individual one vote per person, we would have had control of governance. We would have senators. We have one black senator. In the early, uh, in the late 1800s, we had like 20. So, recap. Hall of Records. Property taxes. Uh, also, in those tax, in those property transfers, they will transfer property, transfer us as wedding gifts. Yeah, that's how Sally Hemings got over there with Thomas Jefferson. She was given as a wedding gift. So any transfer of property is where you go, and you'll be on it. It's the Cali Grio. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will respond. Hope we get it soon.